In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create this beautiful and realistic scoot hem in close 3D. All right, let's get to it. To create a scoot hem in close 3D, first we want to extend the hem of the skirt. Simply use this edit pattern tool, click one right here on the skirt hem, right click, then we want to select offset pattern outline. By default, I have direction is extend and distance is three centimeter. If you want to change this distance to smaller, you can simply click right here to change or you can simply click select and then type in the number, which is three centimeter. That is perfect. And be sure to check the create internal line box because we need it and I will show you why. By default, I have side segment type mirror and default corner box to check. Next, I'm going to click on OK. So as you can see right here, I only need to do it one side of the pattern because the pattern is linked together. Next, we want to create another internal line here. Let me zoom in. We want internal line here because we're going to sew this part right here to this part. All right, so I'm going to create internal line. Simply click on that hems again, right click, and I'm going to select offset as internal line here. So by default, I have six centimeter, which is perfect. Once again, be sure to check this extend box because we want this internal line reach this edge of the pattern. Next, we will click on OK. After that, I'm going to strengthen the pattern here and come over here. Right now, I don't see the internal line. We want to turn the internal lines on so we can use the fold arrangement tool to fold the line here. So this is the line we're going to fold. Simply go to the vertical toggle menu and then click on the t-shirt icon here and come over here to this internal line icon, show or hide internal line, click on that. And now we are going to use this fold arrangement tool, click on the center line and then click right here, drag it in. And to answer your question, how can we make the skirt hem flat? So this is how we are going to come over here to the property editor and we want to click this fold angle here drag it to the left until it reaches zero and then turn on this full rendering box. All right, so if I render right now, click on this to render. As you can see right here, this skirt hem is flat. I'm going to stop that simulation for a minute and then let's sew this skirt hem first. And then I'm going to show you the effect here. So I will use the segment sewing tool to sew the skirt hem. Simply click one right here, click one right here. And once again, we only need to sew one side and affects both because the patterns are linked together. And let's hide the avatar. Come to the vertical toggle menu and then click on this avatar icon here to hide. And let's see inside. Let's simulate one more time here. And now the pattern is sewn. How though? We also need to sew right here, but we're going to sew that in a second. I'm going to turn on the simulation. Okay, let it simulate. And then I'm going to come back over here. Simply use this edit pattern tool and then click on that internal line. And now we come to property editor. If we click and then drag this full angle out, now, if you look at right here and then turn off this full rendering box, you see now this internal line that we turned it flat earlier, now it is rounded. If we want this folding to be flat, we want to come back over here to the property editor, click and then drag that full angle back until it reaches zero and then turn on this full rendering box. And I'm going to simulate or stop the simulation in this case. And now you can see the fold is flat. And I hope that's answer your question. So let me finish this sewing. After we extend the hem, we want to update the sewing. Okay. Simply click and then drag it down here. So I'm going to simulate one more time and then see if the pattern is fixed. So I'm going to stop the simulation and then change the particle distance here to 10 and then Press return into on the keyboard to confirm and let's simulate again. I'm going to stop the simulation and then we also want to unstrengthen here because we want to see the end result. Okay, so as you can see right here, now we have the beautiful crisp and flat for the skirt hem. All right, so when we finish with following the skirt hem, we want to turn that internal line back off. It's still there, we're just hiding it. So simply come over here and then click on that show or hide internal line once again. And now the internal line is disappear. After that, we want to apply top stitches on the hem to create this realistic look. To do so, we will come over here to the 2D toolbar and then click on the top stitch tool. And I will select segment top stitch. I'm going to zoom in a little. I will simply click one right here to apply the top stitch. So by default, I have double stitches. I'm going to change that to single. To do so, first come over here to this object browser, click on the default top stitch, and then come down here. I'm going to change this number here to one and then leave everything as is. And I'm going to simply check the top stitches first. 
rotate and see if the top stitches lay along with each other, which is, it is, and it's perfect. There you have it. I hope you guys found the video helpful and remember to give it a thumbs up and follow me on in code fashion for more awesome videos like this. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.